I'll need to log in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Live with Naz, Quarantining Corona, show number 97. Where are we, people? Let me see. Let me see you. I don't know how to operate this thing anymore. Where am I? Here we go. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been four days for me. And that's... Alrighty, let's see. It's loading. And what do we got? Who do we have here? Oh, where are you, people? I miss you. Sarah, how are you guys? Michael Ramirez, welcome. Lori Herman, how are you? Let's see. Let's see. Who do we have? Who else do we have? Maha joined us. Mr. Keto Olsen, thank you for joining us today. And where is my family? Where are you, family? Let's see. Oh, Art and Beth, welcome, welcome, welcome. I love you guys. I didn't know how much I love you till I left for five days. I'm like, I miss this. Bobby Roman, the, uh, the wonderful, wonderful voice of Bobby Roman, a great artist, singer. We did so many prisons together. And this man, the minute he started singing, everybody got quiet and listened and like wow amazing man loves the lord matthew dirk welcome my beloved how are you how are you redmond oregon checking in yes how am i john you have grown wiser <laughs> oh well we want to thank john for doing a great job i was watching from maha's uh, uh computer uh while i was in vegas for a few days and he did a great job you know I, I believed he did. I, I thought he did, and you guys loved it. So thank you, Michael Anthony. Lisa Gutierrez, thank you for... Teresa, how are you? Welcome back. Becky, Becky, how... Amy, 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 welcome. Betty Hardy, how are you doing? Thank you, guys. Miss you all. Miss you all. This is awesome. It's good to see you guys. Welcome to the show. Show number 97. Alrighty, I as... All right, let's see. Welcome, welcome. I love you too, guys. Um, let's see. Uh, I know on uh, Wednesday evening, me and Maha went to Vegas for a um, business trip. It was completely business trip. We stayed at the Trump Resort, the Trump Tower, which was good because there's no smoking and no gambling. So it was very quiet and very nice. No smoking. I, I hate the, s the smoke on my clothes. I hate the smell of cigarettes, even though for the first, uh, few years of my life when I was not a believer I smoked but then I hate the smell David McLaughlin Pastor David how are you Kathy Lasota welcome thank you for joining us Lily Lily is here Vincent how are you it was very well it was a business meeting I was asked to be on a board of director for a, a Christian ministry that does big festivals and big events so I was involved with them for a, for a long time but now I'm asked to be on the board so it was really interesting to be able to, you know, to go and spend a few days with some of my friends, business friends, and uh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. I had a great time with Maha, uh, you know, and uh, of course we don't gamble, but we were able to see. Vegas was empty on Wednesday and Thursday. It was empty. Like you can drive 40, 50 miles an hour on... Um, you know, Las Vegas Boulevard, which normally, if you've been to Vegas, you can, you know, it takes you like two hours to, to get from one light to the other light. But that was empty. Uh, the, the resorts are only allowed to have 30% uh, capacity. On Friday, it filled up. On Friday, it looked a little bit normal. Now, to me, it was, I'm very happy. Uh, you know, we never felt sorry for, for casinos. In the past, you never felt sorry for casinos. We're feeling bad for them, for the businesses, for the restaurants, for all that. It was empty. On Friday, it kind of looked normal. There were people. Everybody had a mask on. And I got a haircut. Finally, I got an out-of-state haircut. Out-of-state. The day we were leaving, I said, I'm going to go find me a, ha a hair place to ha get a haircut. And I got a haircut. I got to witness to the lady for half an hour and share the good news with her. So to me, that was a trip well worth it. And uh, let's see, what do we got? Sophia. Hello, Sophia. Welcome. Teresa, tell us about your DMV experience. Oh, I will. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> Before I get to my DMV venting, the, you know, disaster, mad, and venting. That's what my DMV stands for. 
la, you know, tomorrow, you know, tomorrow's Tuesday. What happened on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific time? We have our podcast. Who's going to be on my podcast? My good friend, comedian John Brennan. John Brennan is very amazingly political, but yet funny. Very funny. Ve one of the best writers as far as comedy writing. And well, after the show, if you go to YouTube and put Three Little Pigs, John Brennan, a hilarious bit. A hilarious, hilarious. He's going to be with me tomorrow at 2 p.m., so we're going to make sure we're going to laugh. Because a lot of um, the Laughter for All podcasts lately, which we play on my fan page at 2 p.m. Pacific, has been on trying to help people. Finding, bringing a CPA, bringing a pastor, bringing an African-American actress, uh, bringing uh, different people who, you know, a doctor who talks about health and immunity, immune system. So I was trying to help, but tomorrow we'll be laughing. Anyway, uh, today, ladies and gentlemen, I went to the DMV. I got up early in a pandemic time when I'm non-essential. I have no reason to get up early. I have no reason. But I got up early and I went to the DMV early, hoping before they open, I can get in line early. When I got there, there were about 500 people who had the same idea, but got there before me. But now they're not standing in line next to each other. We're six feet apart, so the line went up to like Moreno Valley, and I was going in Norco. Uh, if you're not from California, it's like two cities away. Yes, that's my friend. <laughs> he wasn't there. I looked for him. I looked for that guy. What are you looking at? That guy. I went to see what he's looking at. He was not in line. Yes, the guy in the background. If you notice the background, see that guy looking at us? Looking at me? Remember that guy? <laughs> uh, yes. James Blind, thank you for joining us. Barb SD, thank you for joining. Nagam Farah, my beloved cousin from... Uh, the Holy Land, thank you for joining us. Uh, Corey Cordes, thank you for joining us. So anyway, so Jane Seymour, welcome. Scott, Scott Crockett must be a new guy. Scott, thank you for joining us for the first time. Please let us know what city and state you were in. So I get to the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles. If you're not from this country, this is the place you want to avoid. You don't want to go there. You don't unless you have to. And I had to, and I went there, and I was there for seven hours. Can you imagine that? Seven hours, people. I was at the DMV for seven hours. You know it's long when you come home and look at your bucket list, and you check. Okay, going to the DMV on my bucket list in my lifetime. Check. I wanted to visit the pyramids. Check. Go to the DMV. Check. I did it. I don't want to go back. So I was there for seven hours. And you know what? You know, before at the DMV, the people, the employees used to be angry, tired, and frustrated. Now they're all of the above. Angry, tired, frustrated, and the plus they're scared of you now. Can you, can you add? I couldn't imagine you can add some other <laughs> horrible thing to their personality. Some of them were nice. I got to admit that. But not the ones I dealt with. And they're just like, uh, they Joe Hazar, thank you for joining, my beloved. How are you? Let us know where you're at. So at the DMV, uh, the DMV in San Bernardino was burned out during the riots. I don't blame him, man. It was so long. I, and nobody talked. Nobody talked to anybody. Everybody was quiet. Nobody talked to anybody. Unless you have your spouse with you or someone with you. That's the only people that talked. Everybody else. Nobody wanted to talk. Nobody wanted to look at you. And everybody's like, oh, oh, I got to make me sure my six feet up. And everybody's adjusting their. It's like, you know how you go do your driving test? You, you want to make sure everything is right? That's how the people were acting. Like, oh, I got to be, be my six feet apart. I got to keep my mask on unless they kick me out or do something or take my driver's license away. I don't know. People were weird. No one talked. Six feet apart. They wanted to follow the rules. I don't know. W when did Fauci said you cannot talk to people and you cannot smile at people and you have to be scared and quiet? So I have that. You know, I don't know. I just at one point the lady asked me to come back. I'm I'm serious. After I waited, I got there before 8 a.m. at 12:30. I made it to the window. The window. And I made it to the window, and the lady didn't look excited about having me. She already had like 500 people before me. 
So she wasn't excited. I wasn't. I was like, "Hi, I'm finally here." She's like, "What do you want?" I go, <laughs> uh, "I want to get the new ID and I wanted to do some registration for the car." Uh, she's like, "Do you have all the documents?" I go, "Yes, I made sure. I had four and a half hours of standing in line." And she goes, and she looks at me. She goes, "Those are not complete." I go, "Yes, they are. Trust me." I looked everything. I called. I made sure everything is perfect. And she's like, "Okay." And she's just looking at him. She's like mad. She's like looking at like you know like a uh, I'm giving her like a a subpoena or a court order. It's like she's like, "Oh, I didn't do that. I don't want to do that." So anyway, so she did that, and she almost told me. She said, "I think you need to come back." I go come back and wait in line. She goes, "Yeah." That's when I started thinking Uber. Uber for the rest of my life. I don't need. If I Uber the rest of my life, you know what? That's why I think Jesus and the disciples walked everywhere, because they didn't want to deal with the DMV. That's what it is. Because I'm sure, I mean, the Lord will not sin, but He angry will be. Sin. He would have taken his his uh, those little uh, straps and he would have turned all the tables on them. I can guarantee you that. Uh, but anyway, so I was seven hours. I can't talk to people. You know me. I love people. And so I tried to figure out. Now that everybody has a mask, you need to figure people out from their eyes. You need to understand what's going on and their emotions from their eyes only, because you can't see the rest of the face. Now I grew up in the Middle East. We had a lot of women who were covered. You can only see their eyes. So I kind of have some advanced teaching on that. So here's here. Let me help you, because now everybody is masked. When people are wide-eyed, they're surprised, right? When you have your eyes wide, that means you're surprised. When you have wide eyes and wide mouth, like, I don't know. See, two differences. Surprised, just the eyes big. Surprised and the mouth wide. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that. But when you have the mask, you can't tell if the mouth is open. So you assume they're surprised. It's like, hey, uh, do you know when, uh, if I need this document, like, what are you surprised I'm talking to you? And the guy's telling me, I don't know, but I can't see his face. So, frown means you're thinking. Hmm. When you frown with your eyes, see his, just the eyes, that means you're thinking. If frown with your mouth pushed out and lips puckered means you're angry. See, but when you have your mask on, I can't tell if you're thinking or you're angry. I don't know. I can't tell. See, that's angry. That's thinking. So anyway, but this I'm trying to help you out when you have your mask on. Closing your eyes for more than one second means you're frustrated. <sighs> more than that, you're tired and sleepy. Rolling your eyes is easy to understand because we knew that from junior high. So when they roll their eyes, you know what there is going on. Tilting your head means sympathy. Aww. Tilt your head with a smile. It's playful. But now you have a mask on, so you're only tilting your head. So I'm assuming... You're feeling sorry for me. I didn't know you were being playful or nice. Lowered head, you're hiding something. Shy, ashamed, you're hiding something. Looking to the side means you're nervous or lying or you're distracted. Cross your arms means you're reserved and uncomfortable. Cross arms with open legs wide. When you sit like that, men do that. They then, like they're the boss, they're marking their own territory. See, you see people, when they're trying to be in charge or they're marked, they're trying, they just cross their arm and open their legs. That's a man thing to say, here, I'm the boss. If you open your, uh, you know, your legs a little bit and your arms are like this, that means you're the supervisor. Here, you're the manager with legs open more and arms up. If your arms all the way up and your legs all the way apart, you're a manager of a gym or something. But, you know, this, I'm just... Trying to go through that. Anyway, back to Vegas. All right, who do we have? Danny Green, Pastor Danny Green from College Station. Thank you for joining us. Randy, Monica, and Zachary, how are you? Richard Lee Akuna, thank you for joining us, guys. Bobby Miller, how are you guys? Uh, let's see. Nancy, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry, I've been just blurbing out. Anyway, I was talking to a friend about India. They were in India. And we're talking about religions and different religions. I don't know why people are against, sometimes they're very against Christianity, but uh, their other religions have some weird stuff. Like they said in India, 
in India. This is true. In India, if you go to the, to the city, they have temples for rats, actual rats. They worship the rats. They feed the rats. They honor the rats because they think they're in reincarnated from a different life. So you in the city, they honor them. They feed them. If you go to the countryside where the farmland, the farmers are killing the rats because the rats are eating their cra uh, crop. They're eating the crops. So, so if you're a rat in India, it's all about location, location, location. <laughs> Imagine, you're in the city, you're worshipped and honored and fed. You're in the farmland, you're killed. So if you're a rat in India, location, location, location. So anyway, we went to this nice restaurant. Uh, I was invited. In my yeah, I'm doing right now. So the, the waiter would ask you this. Are you a vegan or are you a vegetarian? I said, no, I'm a carnivore. I was born. When I was born, my pacifier was a drumstick. I love meat. I eat meat. And they said there's something called a pescatarian. You know what a pescatarian is? It's someone who can only eat fish. They don't eat chicken. They don't eat beef. They eat fish with their vegetables. So they're called pescatarian. Then there is flexitarian. This is true terms. Flexitarian means you are, sometimes you eat meat. You're very flex about it. Flexitarian. Now, you can be, now I'm making my s this up, and I hope you guys make some up. Uh, there's a junketarian that only eats at McDonald's. You can be a junketarian. You can be a porketarian. A porketarian is someone who eats like a pig. <laughs> Not just eats pork, you know, or doesn't eat pork. Because uh, you know what he calls someone who doesn't eat pork? A Jew or a Muslim. That's what you call them. There's no Aterian next to them. So if pescatarians only eat fish with vegetables, vegetarians only eat vegetables, what do human Aterians eat? Humans. Anyway, any, can you think of anything else? <laughs> can you think we're behind? Oh, we're behind the sanitizing people. Let's sanitize. If you're new to this show, every 15 minutes we sanitize and share. If you're not new to this show, this is show number 97. People, we, we went through this pandemic and sheltering in place together, and we will continue as long as our governors, who are our gods, tell us what to do. We'll continue because we are the non-essentials, and we just have to abide and wait till they open. So please share and click. Okay, here we go. We're behind. With the farmer's harvest, it's called cutting the crop. Oh, okay. Rats... As in, <laughs> yes, uh, tatale. Oh, what do you call it? Ratatouille. Yes, ratatouille. Now, Mexico, the gray wolves are attacking our cows. We need our beef jerky. <laughs> oh, nice save there, Nan. Thank you. Oh, I know. I know. I almost. <laughs> you guys catch everything. Mr. Tanus, my beloved from Pasadena. Thank you for joining us. Okay, let's see. Where, so, what do you got? Uh, if you're a. If you eat only fish, you're a pescatarian. If you only eat, you know, occasional meat, you're a flexitarian. What other names do you have? Ratatarian. Rat eating. That's good. In and out. <laughs> That's funny. Pastor David. In and out. My daughter is a nutritarian. What is that? Okay. A chick fil a -rian. <laughs> Hey, Joey. I'm a what? Wine -tarian. <laughs> she drinks wine. Good one, Lily. How are you guys? Seafood Tarian. <laughs> I'm a cookitarian. <laughs> what a cookitarian. That's right. I love this, you guys. You are ripping it up tonight, Ned. I miss you, that's why. Restoratarian. <laughs> Maha. You eat a te uh, Maha said uh, the other day said monsteratarian. So you eat like a monster. A moment of honor for our overlords. Right, the governors. Thank you, Mr. Blind. Uh, Joey, chocolaterian, chocolaterian, uh, fryterian. <laughs> hey, Kathy. Nancy, how are you guys? Ice creamitarian for Sarah. Uh, <laughs> That's a Jordanian dish, but. <laughs> Pietarian. Okay, <laughs> okay. Flipitarian eat only foods that you flip with a spatula. <laughs> you know what, James Blind has to find a way to bring a spatula into the equation right here. I am beef jerkitarian. 
<laughs> I'm a fryetarian for Brent. Brent, welcome. How are you, Anadra? Okay, Mahas, one mileetarian. Okay, chickenarian, <laughs> cakeetarian for Sarah, juiceetarian for Teresa. That's healthy. She's etarian for Matthew and from Wisconsin. Uh, grub hub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. You guys are funny. Grill you. <laughs> ah, you guys are funny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wipe the tears. Wipe the tears. I am, ah, you guys are so funny. You, I can say anything and you'll come up with funny stuff. I'm amazed. Okay, grill <laughs> and eat food that are grilled. I do Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> From winetarian and Delca, Del Taco. I love your diet, Lily. Cafeterian, that's me too, Jean. Carnivorian, that's right. Pizzaterian for Nancy. French fry. <laughs> Bobby Miller, that's funny. Chelo, what is the question? Uh, Chelo, the question is, well, what kind of names do you have? Like vegetarian, pescatarian, flexitarian? Uh... So we came up with junketarian, porketarian, chocolatarian, and <laughs> deltacotarian, breakfast burritoarian, the wardetarian, ice creamatarian, carbatarian, <laughs> Sir Sophia, kangarooian, kangaroo eating, but you feel like jumpy afterwards. <laughs> Snitzeratarian. Uh, Sibo, how are you? Thank you for joining us. I think you joined us once before. I could be mistaken, but if you didn't, let us know where you're at. Canafeterian, that's a pastry uh, in uh, in the Mediterranean pastry. Netflix. <laughs> you eat the shows up, don't you? I'm a coffee addict. Yes, cafeterian, Amy. You homosetarian for Nancy, right? Tipanic. <laughs> Tipanaketarian. Tip oh, tea pancake -itarian. <laughs> Okay. Tip, tip and... You gotta explain that, Pastor David. I feel like eat a terian, a steak -itarian for Joey. I'm a French fry -itarian. Oh, Okay. Oust Oster The only downside is a constant desire to stick it in the ground. Ostercharian. I'm a lobster for Lily. Oh, na Nazaterian, okay. Sodaterian for Kathy. Eating all day long. <laughs> long. <laughs> Good one, baby. Oh, Baconaterian, of course. Snackaterian for Sarah. Facebookaterian for Amy. Ah, oh, Lily, your lobster look delicious. <laughs> I'm known in all Aterian. I'm, I'm a know it all Aterian. Holy water. <laughs> cough, cough, sneeze, sneeze, Aterian. Okay, binge watch, Aterian. I'm a seafood, Aterian. I French fry, Aterian. Oh, oh man. Ah. Okay, yes, I have. I'm in Menifee. Love your humor. Oh, good. Thank you, Sybil. Oh, shrimp, Aterian. <laughs> double, double, Aterian. <laughs> <laughs> for art little debitarian <laughs> for Matthew okay let's see uh, couch -itarian for Tim COVID-19 -itarian for Bobby oh animal fries -itarian. that's all from in and out Binihana Japanese cooking on grill Tepec Tepanic oh okay got it uh, I'm a cemetery <laughs> Lily the manager at the funeral home. She's a cemeterian. <laughs> oh, calendaritarian eating only foods with far off sell by dates. Coviditarian, chewitarian. I love food. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Burgatarian, four by four itarian, anti dietarian, <laughs> corona itarian. Oh, okay, I, I'm a Big Mac with a side of heart attack. <laughs> oh, I'm a John and Talitarian because they were great. Thank you. They did a great job. Zucchini Terrian for Betty. California Terrian for Nancy. I'm an American breakfast Terrian. Scott Crockett, how are you, Scott? Me too. I love breakfast. Maha and John cannot eat breakfast. They start with lunch. They wait till noon, eat lunch. I can't miss breakfast. Milwaukee has a great custard. 
can't find it anywhere else. Cops and Leo Custodian. Well, ask Matthew Dirk. He'll find it for you. Sugar-free ice cream materian. Don Wright, welcome back. Palestinian. <laughs> that doesn't count. Palestinian. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You guys are on tonight. Uh, keto Terry. <laughs> You're like Ma. Ma's on the keto diet right now. And she goes to her sister. Oh, we found a place in Aldi. They sell ice cream. Listen, you want to go on a diet. You want to forget about chocolate and ice cream and carbs. And <laughs> if, if you just want to find something that's keto that have all what you want to indulge in, that's not a diet. My wife is always right, Italian, <laughs> Christian, Italian, hungry, <laughs> hungry, Italian. I saw your dry bar comedy show. Thank you, Tim. This is awesome. We had over 1.1 million views, which is good. Question is eating a vegetarian healthier than eating a carnivore? Uh, well, the carnivore stays in you longer. <laughs> Culveritarian. Single dietarian, uh, don't care about dietarian. <laughs> Hi, oh Crystal, did you join us? Hi Crystal from Canada, how are you? Thank you for joining us, guys. You're amazing. Oh Lord, this is good. All righty, lazy turn today. This is me. Oh, Milwaukee, a bit out of the way. Oh. Awesome. Oh, guys, I just checked with the churches. I'm going to be in Milwaukee on um, Sunday night, September 20th. And I'm going to be in Green Bay on Saturday the, the 19th on September. So the shows are on. Eating only food served at Disneyland. They are currently starving. Pray for them. Okay. <laughs> Dietarian, clownitarian tastes funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Laughatarian shared. Chris Rosetti, welcome to the show. All right, let's see. Where are you in Wisconsin? Matthew, what? The exact question is what kind of diet, uh, you know, what do you call a vegetarian, a pescatarian? What are you? Cycling Cycling-atarian. Me too. I started to do cycling recently, and I really, I did a, like a 30-mile thing, which I'm proud of myself, and I thought I'd do it often. I stopped. But Sirugatarian, uh, not for Green Bay Area. <laughs> oh, there are you. Oh, righty. That's good, John. Oh, man, you guys are killing me tonight. I am crying already. Jay Usher, thank you for joining us from Indiana. Welcome back. Are you a vegetarian, a pescatarian, a flexitarian, a junketarian, a porketarian, a humanitarian? What kind of terian are you? Green Lake, okay. Listening to, listening while riding my scooter in the cold San Francisco fog. Wow. Well, good. At least we got you, Chris. Lani Pelli, welcome, welcome, welcome. Arabic food terian for Maha. Yes, Maha makes the best Middle, Middle Eastern food. It's amazing. Pescatarian almost sounds like Presbyterian. Yes, Presbyterians eat fish too. Tonatarian eating so much at buffets that they are constantly asked you to leave, but you don't fit out of the door. Ton, tonatarian. Oh, uh, I ride about five to six miles a day. That's awesome, man. That's healthy. Another minute to send. Yes, keep reminding me, Teresa, because I am today. I'm just loose. Cool. Don't care about leaving crumbs everywhere, Etarian. <laughs> uh, Pritzel Etarian. Now, let's see. What do we got? Uh, all of the above. <laughs> That's a good one, Teresa. I'm a pessimist Etarian. I doubt this food will taste good. <laughs> good one, Rosetti. That's good. Oh. Which church? Oh, uh, a late Etarian. For the show, DMV Tyrion. Yes, people. Manisharian. Manisharian. Okay. A sanitarian. In about a minute, we're going to be all sanitarians. 
Alan <laughs> You all have a good night. Oh, still on the road. That's right. How's your shows going? In the Great Smoky Mountain for the next couple of days. The World Tour shows this weekend went very well. Good crowds. And got to open for a great passion play in Arkansas. That's good. So how was the audience? Were there a lot of people? Because right now they're coming up in California and said laughing is not good. It's like singing. You can spread the viol virus when you're laughing. I don't know what else they're going to do. All right. Speaking of that, let's sanitize. Sanitize and share, people. Sanitize and share. Sanitize and share. Okay, my husband doesn't listen any time material. I do listen, baby. I do. Oh, you're not being ferritarian right now, baby. Crawlitarian. Uh, Churrotarian. Are you going to eat any more of that? The terian? <laughs> yes. My dog are taking the whole bed. The terian. <laughs> I'm a negative and positive alien. <laughs> Good night, Brent. Did someone say humanitarian? Yes, I did early, but uh, where do they eat? Humanitarian. Optimistarian for Tim. All right. We sanitize and share. Good crowd. That's encouraging, man. That's encouraging. Um... I'm a brokerian. The prices are lowering my credit score. Jenny Cook Stivali. Jenny Stivali. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you for joining us. We were together in, Ve uh, not Vegas, in Maui last March, right before they closed everything. Good to see you guys. Welcome to the show. I'm going to ask you a new question right now. A, a new question for you people. All right. They say today they came up with a study that said there's a vaccine coming, but it has a, like, a, good, um, a lot of impact on the immune system. So, uh, Chris Rosetti asked this question. What are some bad names for a vaccine? Give me some bad names for a vaccine. Bad names for a vaccine. An ice creamitarian. <laughs> Easy Nancy Pelosi. A broke and poor for Crystal. A Presbyterian for Becky. Hush puppyterian for Betty. I have selective hearing hearingitarian for Bobby. Greg and Je Greg Denham, thank you. Greg and Janelle Denham, are you are you Greg Senior or the young J Greg? You gotta let me know. Somebody has to eat Italian, humanitarian, isolitarian. I'm still concerned about what humanitarian eat. Uh, secretarian, you don't tell anyone what you eat or someone who eats prize race horses. Ooh, Tally's gonna get you for that. Right before the crazy town. Yes, I know. 400 people in Arkansas. That's encouraging. Praise God. We're in California. We think the world is all closed. Thank you. Did someone say spatulatarian? Use a spatula afterward. You get every last bit of food. Uh, talk to James Blind, Dart. No vaccines. Yes. That, okay. A post, uh, oppositarian <laughs> for Tim. Uh, no more fireworkitarian. Bad names for a vaccine. Give me a bad name for a vaccine. Elaine Hemingway, Crossgrove, thank you for joining us. Okay. Death in a syringe. <laughs> Drop dead ozoi. <laughs> Drop dead ozoi. <laughs> Death in a syringe. Immune suppressine. <laughs> Immune suppressine. <laughs> <laughs> the good luck to you vaccine. That's funny, guys. Oh, test vaccine. Uh, COVID on steroids. <laughs> Won't hurt at all vaccine. Uh, sting for a day <laughs> vaccine. Democratic Congress vaccination. <laughs> uh, poison in a pop. <laughs> we hope this might work vaccine. Oh, man, you guys are funny. Quick. This, uh, this will hurt vaccine. How humitarian, how humitarian, hurt your body vaccine, Kool-Aid, <laughs> dysfunctionitarian, oh, guinea pig vaccine, 50-50 vaccine, side effectionitarian, <laughs> side effected, uh, the last guy <laughs> died vaccine, good one, Sophia, oh, Wal Walmart, <laughs> Walmart vaccine. The shot fell all over the body. Oh, in-laws. <laughs> Target vaccine. 
living on a prayer vaccine, China coronavirus vaccine, shopping vaccine, uh, may make your face and leg hairy. <laughs> Good one, Michael. Fauci's folly. <laughs> yes, you guys are funny. Become a statistic <laughs> vaccine. How special vaccine, not previously tested vaccine. Vaccine on fire, rash attack vaccine. That's funny, Scott. Oh, man. CVS, Corona vaccine syndrome. Let's see what happens. <laughs> vaccine, non-alcoholic Corona vaccine. Gotcha. Vaccine, fast pass to Lily. Oh, red tape vaccine. Takes a while to get through. Sorry, say no to vaccine. Okay. <laughs> sorta, maybe sorta kind of vaccine. RRUV, rats are us vaccine. <laughs> oh man, last shot chip vaccine. That we lost the label, not sure what vaccine this is. Oh, the Wuhan special vaccine. Nadi Benjamin, thank you for joining us again. The question is, they're coming up with a new vaccine. Give us some bad names for a vaccine. Fight or flight vaccine. Oh, shoot. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I did something horrible. I know I did. I know I did. John, I'm still on. I know I'm still on. But I pushed something wrong. I did this by mistake. And God forgive me. So let's get it back. We're back. We're back to the vaccine. Give me some bad v names for vaccine. Uh, let's see. Where did I stop? Truth or dare vaccine. You've got our... Anyways, vaccine. Brain says El Marco. Bri Brian says El Marco. <laughs> COVID-19 weight vaccine. The Fauci Berg special. <laughs> Flight, fight for your life vaccine. Next appointment will be with Lily vaccine. Stick it where <laughs> vaccine. Wuhan vaccine. Oh, my pass out vaccine. Uh, Vegas vaccine. Uh, welcome... The runs vaccine. <laughs> Fight or flight vaccine. Oh, man. You guys are funny. Cleaning vaccine. The Wuhan special. Let's see. Let's get back to you. You'll get our anyway. Let's see. Swelling. The COVID cocktail. Transgender suddenly corona cure. Uh, swelling fever. Baseball size lump. No problem. Will pass vaccine. Biden vaccine, I'll make you need to spend the next four months in the basement or not actually have an original thought. Oh, vaccine. You'll get it anyway, vaccine. Make it worse, vaccine. Dishonorable vaccine. Oh, man. Hope we get it right, vaccine. Ouch, vaccine. Uh, book record question, vaccine. Okay, it's time for that. Let's see. Oh, okay. The unmasked vaccine. Gates. Scratch and sniff vaccine, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing vaccine. This will burn vaccine, thicker than penicillin vaccine, roadkill vaccine, selective elimination vaccine, good one. The lemon vaccine, the Nazine vaccine, Joe Godoni, Pastor Joe, Executive Director of Voice of Refugees, feeling, feeding a thousand people. Guess why I couldn't be there today? DMV, baby. DMV waiting for seven hours. We hope it works vaccine. The question is give us some bad names for a vaccine. First to market vaccine. Computer virus vaccine. Paramask perm permanent mask vaccine. Wheel of Fortune vaccine. Trail run vaccine. Christine Reeves, welcome. Welcome joining us. If you get the Vegas vaccine, you'll have to stay in Vegas, <laughs> right? Out of date Spanish flu vaccine, side effects, you only speak Spanish after injection. The laughing vaccine, hey, you never know, vaccine. Pelosi says okay vaccine. Flush and fill. Uh, okay, my Muoho vaccine. Uh, undif unidentified vaccine. Alrighty, thank you. Lawyers are standing by vaccine. Egyptian plague vaccine. <laughs> End of the world vaccine. <laughs> okay, feel uh, you'll feel terrible, but you'll be healthy vaccine. November 4th vaccine. <laughs> Hallucination vaccine. 
the giant syringe vaccine uh dancing pink elephant vaccine dmv yes the dmv deadly mass vaccine good one art vaccine protection against my ex vaccine <laughs> okay dmv vaccine placebo vaccine dmv your last vaccine oh, okay i think time to do the guinness book of world record people and since i was waiting at the dmv for that long let's see the guinness book of world record the guinness book of world record ladies and gentlemen all right it's all about waiting a long-standing world record time for waiting this guy in england ireland he went to the er they put him on a trolley you know those bits waiting to get in a room to put him in a real bed how many hours did he wait he's 72 years old and how many hours did he wait before they took him from the trolley and put him in an actual bed in the hospital. How many hours? 13? Okay, ex excess protection once given proof spouses. <laughs> 66 hours for Maha, one mile for Maha, one mile for Michael. Hmm, the guy waited one mile. I don't know, you guys need to do math again. I think six hours for Christine, 72 hours for uh, Crystal, 36 hours for Sarah, 72 hours for Amy, 40 hours for Tim, 78.45 for Beth, 45 for Sophia, 25 for Lonnie, 24.8 for James, 35 for Sarah, Sarah 32, okay, Lily 31, Becky 32, Sarah 31, I trip over my feed vaccine, 67 for Nancy, 30 for Sarah, 6666 for Ma, 48 for Christine, 100 hours for Kathy, 2 miles for Sarah, 115 hours for Matthew, 19 for Lily, we hate math, 12 for Lily, 132 for Bobby. Is that in women's time or men's time? Men's time. 16 for Sarah, 17 for Sarah. Okay, Sarah, you gotta give me a minute between because I am behind <laughs> and I'm losing my breath. 80 and to 5 hours for Maha. What is that? 80 minus 5? Thank you, baby. I'm like, I'm running out of breath and you're doing that. 18. Lily Nava said 44. Nancy said 49. Teresa said 99. And 58 for Lily. And let's see. Crockett 65. 50 for Bobby. Lisa Guterres, thank you for joining us again. 17 for Tracy O'Neill, thank you for joining us. First timer, let us know what city and state. 24 for Sarah, 25 for Sarah, 26 for Sarah. Oh, my mask. 27 for Sarah, 28 for Sarah, 28 for 56 for Bobby, 30 for <laughs> Lily, 21. Bobby Miller, 57. Christine Reeves says 72. 60 for Bobby, 77 for Crystal, 26 for Lily, 22 for Sarah, 65 for Le Bobby. Sarah said 23. James Blythe said 867. F what is this? A mileage on a car? That's a lot. That's a lot of hours. That's eternity, James. <laughs> Let the man breathe. Thank you. 24 for Sarah. 28 for Lily. 70 for Bobby. Let's see. Who even came close? Uh, who even came close? Let's see. I can't tell you yet, but I'm looking because we don't know. I still didn't announce the winner. But let's see. Another person another person okay 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 72 let's see 65 for bobby 23 all right 24 for sarah 28 for lily bobby 70 lily 33 for Huri. woman's time good luck men's 50 22 100 i won no you didn't 82 for crystal 99 and a half for Teresa. 78 for bobby miller sounds like a horse race it's going and the mean vaccine all right, Amy said they must have been an Arrowhead Hospital. <laughs> 88 hours for Benny, 103 for Christine. Christine, sounds like a horse race. It is 73 for Sarah, 72 for Sarah. Uh, pray for us. It's 56 degrees here in San Francisco. Oh, stop bragging. Stop bragging. I was in Vegas, 106. And then got to 118. You know, it was, I don't know. The unclean vaccine, 71, 79, 112 for Lily. 10 for Sarah, 90 for Crystal, 69 for Lori, Jane Seymour, 74, 11, 12, 13, 14 for Sarah, 78 for Maha, 102 for Teresa, 8 hours for Betty, 77 for Lily, 88 for Lily, uh, Sarah, 33 down, the back stretch, the Ben vaccine, <laughs> 99 for Lily, uh, 22 for Becky, 
Okay, I gotta give you the answer before we get to... Let's see. The answer is 61. 56 for Timmy. The answer is 95 hours, ladies and gentlemen. This guy had to wait 95 hours lying in the hall to get into a room. We have two winners. We have... Uh, well, Teresa said 99. And someone else... And Lily said 99. Now, Sophia said 100. And she was the closest. Then Teresa came in, and she was one one horse length ahead of her with 99. But then Lily came all the way from the back and finished with Teresa at 99. And we do, we do, uh, looking 140, that's 72. Hurt, let me hint, hint. Okay, Lily Nevis, he died. Who died? I don't know. I said 20 to 100. You're not winning anything for that, honey. Got to be close. So, the winners are Teresa and Lily. Both won before. Lily had a lot of wins. Teresa had few. And they both are kind to share it with other people. So, this is what you guys win when I see you. Lily, I probably owe you like two charming uh, mega size family size Costco toilet paper. Here you go. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. Little reminders. We're not done at all. We're not done. We have more questions for you. The thing is, remember, we have a podcast coming up tomorrow at 2 p.m. Comedian John Brannion, a political man, very funny, hilarious. He'll be with me tomorrow at 2 p.m. on my on my site, on my, uh, what do you call it, fan page. Remember, the show number 100 is coming on Thursday. Invite your friends. Throw me some ideas. Don't be lazy. Throw me some, message me some ideas for the 100th show. Please, so we can have time to prep for it. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. I, the last question of the night. Until we get to prayer time. Here's the question that came my good friend Chris Rossetti. This is the question. Okay, today is 51 years ago, man first walked on the moon. 51 years ago today, man first walked on the moon. What would your first words on the moon have been? What would your first words on the moon have been? If you were the one to get to the moon, what would you say? And let's do that until 923, and then we'll stop asking and ask for prayer request on 923. I told you he was at Arrowhead Hospital. <laughs> I'm taking the TP. <laughs> you can't. You're not allowed in the studio, honey. Yeah, Lily, my brain hurts. Oh, I humbly receive half of the TP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Lord, my. <laughs> 100 at three quarters. Congratulations. With my signature on. <laughs> Just make sure you don't accept. Use TP. No, <laughs> the aquamarine vaccine. You have to go underwater to get it. Oh, I love you guys. I ran out of tea. Oh, Christine. Uh, you know, I went to Vegas thinking I can find the, uh, what do you call it, wipes, Clorox wipes. They're out. Pastor Mike Long joined. Thank you for joining us, Pastor Mike. It's been a while. The question is, 51 years ago today, a uh, man made it, landed on the moon. What would your first words on the moon have been if it was you? What would it have been? 100 hours from and remember the first show. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. The Dr. Bricks scare fee vaccine. The last question was, name a bad name. Give us a bad name for a vaccine. But now the question, what would your first words on the moon be? Now, nah, again, time to sanitize. Yes, let's sanitize every 15 minutes. Sanitize and share, people. This is the miracle bottle. This bottle will not finish. It's been around for 97 shows. It's still going strong, ladies and gentlemen. Somehow... You know, like Elijah's, the widow's oil thing, it keeps growing and keeps being filled. I don't know how, but share, please, share this. Click share, click share. Last time, last time I was on the show was 16 shares, really, people? I leave you for four days and you have 16 shares only, <laughs> but I love you. Uh, where's the cheese? That's the first thing you get to the moon. What would you say? Uh, okay, woohoo. Uh, I've got to go to the bathroom. That's a, probably what I would say that. Because I'm the guy going to the moon. I'll be drinking lots of coffee, lots of water. And this is a bad combination for someone who's taking high blood pressure. Uh, so really, I'll be looking for the bathroom. Where's the cheese? 
Gosh, this looks like a sound stage. Oh, wow, the moon's not made out of cheese after all. <laughs> okay, well, what, no cheese? What are you guys all turning into Wisconsinians now? History is made, right. Watch this, la last step, it's a doozy. <laughs> Seriously, there's no Chick-fil-A. Oh, wait. Let's see. Where's the Starbucks? I would be asking that. Time for a good stretch, right? Where's Walmart? Where's In and Out? Where's the man on the moon? Walk by faith, not by sight. Good one, Laurie. Uh, what's the Wi-Fi? <laughs> what's the Wi-Fi password here? <laughs> That's funny. I was a newborn at time. I didn't start talking yet till I was older. Okay. I see all of you from up here, <laughs> right? That's it. This is all that's here. The moon is boring. <laughs> Best ride ever. Right. Hey, this isn't she ain't cheese. I can see my house from here. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Where's the restroom? Right. Where's the sea of tranquility? I want to go swimming. I finally have a great cellar. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let's see. I'm doing, I'm, I keep st pushing something that's really taking me all the way out of this. Let's see. I know it's my first day back after five days. My fingers were busy with the slot machines, which I never play. Uh, nowhere to sanitize, no one to share with. I want to go home. Oh, whoopee, no wifey. <laughs> Stop it, Timmy. You're going <laughs> to you're gonna get a divorce before this show is over. Uh, not this episode, but this show. 400 yards, where's my 7 iron? <laughs> really, no McDonald's? Oh, I took a wrong turn back in the space capsule. There's no toilet paper up here either. Oh, looks aliens, just kidding. <laughs> to Toto, it doesn't look like we are in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Free at last, where's the cow? For show 100, let's get to 100 shares. Oh, that would be great, Lily. Watch my moonwalk moves, right? Single and looking. Where is this famous man on the moon? I told you, you we should have turned <laughs> left at Peoria. <laughs> I ain't getting no COVID up here. I want to go home. My mom said, love you to the moon and back. Now how to get back? It's really quiet in here. One giant step for man, one giant leap for Manicotti. <laughs> Vince McAllister, thank you for joining us again. We miss you, man. Alone at last. Hey, I'm on the moon. Now I'm here. How do I get back? That's a huge planet. I hate being this far from a double-double. Uh, first word, sanitize, laugh often. Uh, it looks like cheese. All right, let's see what else. Uh, watch the last step. It's going. Polly Joe Canfield, my beloved. How are you, young lady? Welcome to the show. It's been like you join us once a month. We. The question is, today was a 51 years being on the moon so what would your first words be and let's see elaine said no covid 19 yeah i thought for sure hbo would be free up here what no trees wonder if i have enough frequent flyer miles to travel free for a while <laughs> yes you will if you if they do that let's see what do we got this irs can't find me here <laughs> the irs uh, where's our american flag at i love Put a Trump flag on the moon next to me. Why am I here and not in heaven? Right. Yeah, no exes here. Okay, Bobby. <laughs> Timothy really wants a divorce. He does. Uh, what? No sunset or sunrise? Sing. When the moon hits your eyes like a big pizza pie, that amore. <laughs> At the end of the day, this was really the only way to escape the my pillow guy. <laughs> right. He's making now bed sheets. The place is out of this world. By the way, he's a good Christian man. Uh, no, it's too cold here. I'm going home. Casper, where's Michael Jackson to do the moon dance? <laughs> if no one can hear me talk in space, am I really talking? Yes, you are. This place is way more open than the West Coast. <laughs> where's the space bar? <laughs> it's actually on your keyboard. Uh, okay, I'm standing next to a Sprint satellite. Can you hear me now? <laughs> I hope I didn't fall off. Look, Moonies. Um, I can't breathe in this outfit. Man, the DMV line is long. 
Rub it in, Lori. Rub it in. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. No Democrat. Okay. I'm wondering if the moon is heaven. Right. Oh, I know I do things halfway, but I didn't expect the rapture to go like this for me. <laughs> you didn't make it. All right. Prayer request time, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any prayer requests, if it's okay to say it here, ask for it. If not, message me and I will pray for you. We continue to pray for several people. Pray for uh, Ella, Ella uh, the three-year-old with leukemia. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'll get you an update tomorrow. There's a friend of mine. He's a comedian. His granddaughter is, you know, she was born in Atlanta, not breathing on her own. So keep her in prayer, newborn baby. And if you have any prayer, Ray, thank you for joining us. Little late time for prayer. So give us your prayer. My daughter, Sydney, is having graduation ceremony at Woodcrest Christian High School tomorrow. Keep everyone in prayer. We will. And Bobby, your, your products you bought were sent. Did I turn the coffee pot off before we left home? That, you know, the first words on the moon. Our nations. We're praying for our nation. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, moonstruck for Chris. Okay, hi to John for us. He did a great job last week. Yeah, he did, Sarah. I was watching and I was very impressed. I'm like, they're going to give him my job. The network is going to take him, <laughs> hire him, and let me go. What? You are the network, right? Hope I don't go loony up here. In Jesus' name, all virus will be destroyed and all its businesses will be victorious. Amen. You know, we know friends. This is scary, but I don't. They said, you know, they went to a family gathering. Forty people were there to a family gathering. And everybody in that event got COVID. They were positive. Some got very sick. Some got just very mild. But everyone in that place what i know it's okay i'm just saying you know sometimes those family gatherings you know i'm i used to think come on this is all a lie but i'm a believer people are catching it pray for the folks in seattle yes pray for christian he is working hard everything ready for his wedding in september already we'll be praying for christian and jesus name amen amen for all marriages <laughs> oh timothy of course, we're going to pray for your marriage. We are. Seriously, we pray for you. You're a great, wonderful man. I hope your wife has the same sense of humor. <laughs> or we hope she doesn't read all that stuff. But we love you. We know it's all in good humor. But we will pray for every marriage. Still praying for my brother Joe and his family. Yes, continue. Uh, pray for uh, Linda and Jay Stilson. They're not with us. So I'm assuming this not feeling good. Uh, so continue to pray for them. Uh, pray for uh, uh, the baby, for uh, Joey Stilson's b baby girl to be healthy. This is a unique place for a honeymoon. Sydney is also doing a speech and singing a solo. Oh, what a proud daddy. I pray everything goes perfectly well. Talking to a specialist on Wednesday. Elena, I hope you can find out my problem. I'm still feeling sick. My doctor couldn't find out my problem with a CT scan. And two other. Well, we'll be praying for wisdom for the doctors and they find out for that. Elaine, pray for New Mexico. The wolves are attacking their cows. We need our beef and dairy too. Oh, okay. We pray for that. Pray for Sam. He is traveling to Arizona. Alrighty, we'll pray for Sam. Pray for those who don't know God. Alrighty, let's see. I'm going to rename it Munatana, Montana. Alright, uh, let's see. I just want to encourage you. I read this in my quiet time this morning. It's really from Pastor David uh, from uh, Calvary Chapelton, uh, Santa Barbara. He was a senior pastor. He's a friend of mine. Fear. Okay, we're talking about fear. Uh, number one, we Christians, I gotta tell you, we we can't be fearful. We know what's going on. We know what the end days are talking about. So we, we should have been prepared for this. So we shouldn't be fearful. We trust in We trust in the Lord. We know He's never leave us nor forsake us. We know that He's going to accomplish His will in us. So whatever is going on, it's not going to change God's trajectory for your life, God's plan for your life. That's going to happen. That's going to be accomplished. So it doesn't matter. Fear, there are two good reasons to put away fear. 
One reason may be that the problem is not nearly as bad as one had thought. Sometimes we assume the worst is going to happen. The worst horrible thing possible that we're going to either die and be homeless. One of the two. That, chances are this is not going to happen. So may, you know, so to get rid of fear, you have to, to know that one reason will be the problem is not nearly as bad as one had thought. Perhaps you're afraid because you exaggerate the danger. So don't exaggerate the danger, you won't be fearful. The other reason that even though the problem may be real, there's even a greater solution and help at hand. So sometimes when you think of the problem, you don't even think that there's solutions. But for every problem, there's at least one solution. But we don't think of that. We get fearful, we become uh, numb, uh, and we can't react. So I want to encourage you. Uh, two reasons. Number one, don't exaggerate the problem. And number two, remember there's a solution. And our solution is in Christ. So go before Him, kneel, uh, prostrate, whatever. Get on your face. And ask him to help you. And uh, love you guys. Welcome back. Good to see you again. I will see you tomorrow. Please go to my podcast tomorrow. Live at 2 p.m. on Comedian Nazareth. My good friend comedian John Brennan will be with me. We're going to laugh for an hour. So join us. Love you guys. Oh, good night. And I miss you. <laughs>